Hi everybody, I'm Errol from Outlook Church in Richards Bay, South Africa. And uh, my topic today is the wholeness of salvation. So my scripture reading today will be from Isaiah 53, reading from verse 4 to 7. It says, Surely he took up our pain and our bore our suffering, yet we considered him punished by God, stricken by him and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions, he was crushed for our iniquities, the punishment that brought us peace was on him, and by his wounds we are healed. We all like sheep have gone astray, each of us has turned our own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and afflicted, yet he did not open his mouth. He was led like a lamb to a slaughter, and as a sheep before his shearers is, his shearers is silent. So he did not open his mouth. So. I want to start off first by, by giving an, an, uh, an, uh, a picture of a soccer match. Imagine going to a soccer match and you know that the, you already know the score and you, and you already know that you have won the match. And that's it's, that, that is how it is with our Christian life. Because Jesus, Jesus has paid, our, paid the ultimate price for our sins, not only our sins, He paid the price for our iniquity, He paid our... He paid our our price for our healing, he paid our price for peace, and he paid our price for all, for, for the whole for our wholeness. So Jesus Christ, the son, sinless Son of God, was a full, full, was a fulfillment of God's promise to send a Savior. He was suffering servant and all and our substitute. He was the bitter sacrifice, as the, as the writers of the Hebrews talk about. He was the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world as proclaimed by John the Baptist. He suffered in our place. He died for our sins. He took the punishment we deserved. He did all this to fulfill and obey the will and plan of the Father. So Jesus walked, not, not, not according to His will, but according to the plan of the Father. And the plan of the Father was not only to, 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 forgive, the, to forgive the sins of the people, but to bring the to bring wholeness in in the lives of the of of, of the people, so that they could, they could, they could be whole, they could be well, they could they could have peace, because Jesus paid the ultimate price. And because of his perfect obedience, even to death on the cross, we can be counted free. So we find that Jesus not only died on the cross as our substitute, but he also rose from the dead three days later so that we could have life and have, have life eternal. So we read in John 10, 10, it says so that we could have life and have life in abundance. So not only, that, not only do we have life, uh, eter eternal life, but also when we, when, we, when, you see, when you accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior, we walk in, in, in fullness and we, we walk in freedom knowing that Jesus carried all our sins, He carried all our pain, he bore all our sicknesses, and by His stripes we are healed. Yes, Father, I thank you, Father, for your goodness, Lord. I thank you, Lord, that you went on the cross because of us, uh, us sinners, Lord. I thank you, Father, that we could, we could come to you knowing that you have paid the ultimate price, Lord. Not only for our sins, Lord, you have paid the price for our healing. You paid the price for, our, for, our, for, our, for the peace that we have, Lord. And I thank you, Father, that you died so that we could have freedom in you, Lord. I pray, Father, that... I pray, Father, that those that are watching this program, I pray, Lord, that they will know that you are the healer. You are the Lord that saves. You are the Lord that gives peace and gives eternal peace, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen.